our spare Gina Brugger and this week I thought we'd give a little reminder to every grade that we have rules to follow just like a normal public school would but since we're online our rules are pretty simple and easy to follow. Practice being polite to classmates and teachers, thank you before you speak, raising your hand in class, yes you can raise your hand in classes. Um, the teachers teach more than one grade, um, like I'm an 8th grader and I know most of my teachers don't just teach 8th grade. <laughs> and just enjoy getting respect from my students because I am, um, yeah. Hey everybody, it is Miss Holt here coming to you with a grammar tip that is going to save you a lot of time and trouble as you complete your assignments this year. So when you complete Google assignments through Canvas, like a lot of your teachers will assign you, for whatever reason, sometimes Google documents that are assigned through Canvas won't show up with these beautiful little blue and red underlines like you can see on my screen. So if you have completed a whole Google assignment and you don't see a single blue or red underline, I would be very suspicious. And so here is your grammar tip. After every single assignment that you complete on Google, every single one, every single one, you're gonna do this. You're gonna go up to the top and click on tools. You're gonna click on the first one, which is spelling and grammar. And then you're gonna click on spelling and grammar check. And this is gonna pop up and it's gonna find whether they're underlined or not, it's gonna find your grammar mistakes. Not all of them, you'll still have to double check for yourself on some, but it's gonna find a lot of them. And then you can accept these changes if you feel that they're correct. And just like that, you have a much better uh, assignment to turn in. Hello everyone, this is Amber Joy Milligan, 8th grade student ambassador with your Friday birthday announcements. First, I'd like to say happy first full week of school. You guys survived your first five day week and there are so much more to come. Anyway, this week we'd like to say happy birthday to, drum roll please, Cooper Kingsley in 7th grade who had their birthday on August 15th, Jade Arvreen, grade who had their birthday on August 17th, Jessica Worley, who had who goes by Reese in 11th grade, who had their birthday on August 23rd, and lastly, Peyton Potter in 10th grade, whose birthday is actually today. We hope you guys enjoy your birthday and have an amazing week. If you haven't already, be sure to fill out the Google Form link that will be provided by your homeroom teacher at this time. Teachers can also fill out this form if they wish to be recognized on their birthday. All right, that's all I have for the birthdays this week. I'll see you next Friday for birthdays and have an amazing weekend. Um, so Friday the high is 96 and the low is 70. Tuesday, because I didn't put Monday's weather, Monday's weather in there by accident, so sorry. Um, but Tuesday the 29th, the high is 83, the low is 60. Wednesday the 30th, the high is 84, the low is 60. Thursday the 31st, the high is 83, the low is 61. And Friday, September 1st, the high is 86, the low is 63. So, um, okay, um, so you should go to the Super Blue Moon High August 30th. Pretty much, you're going to take a guided walk at night to see one of the 2023 Super Moons and learn about its reasoning and history. This event will be at Raven State Room Sanctuary if you would like to go. And now that's all for me, so have an amazing weekend. Hello everyone, my name is Javis Carballo, freshman student ambassador. I am here with the update tips, tricks, chit chat time. We're here. So first, before I say anything, I do have to give update or two. Um, I have a quick message from Mrs. Moon and Mrs. Day because all middle school students, geometry and algebra two students, your math workbooks are available for pickup at the Success Academy's front office. Pick these up between Monday and Thursday um, between hours of 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Now we're still waiting on some Algebra 1 notebooks but they should be delivered to this school sometime next week and please make sure to pay attention to Mrs. Day's updates for Algebra 1 notebooks and I will be giving you guys update. Now another quick announcement VLC students I know I know you guys are gonna groan right now you're gonna internally be Ooh, trust me, I did when I read this. Um, however, I want to give you guys some tips and tricks for taking your tests because VLC students, 6th grade and ninth through ninth graders, 
you have map testing coming up the lab have some tips for you guys however the tips actually start now i have some tests for actually taking the test but baby i got some tips before the test before the test the day before the test the week before the test okay week before the test what you're gonna do is because since this is testing at the beginning of the year the beginning of the year testing is always just to see what you know to see the beginning playing field to see did you forget everything you learned last year over the summer that's what this test is for essentially to just get to get a standardized level of where we're at so that means to study on what you learned last year now you might already by this time we were taking the test you might learn something so in the week before you take your test make sure to at least try and kind of freshen up or at least make a list of things the test might be about you don't have to study for it really but you could just keep in mind and keep contextualized what might be on that test and that way you can kind of prepare yourself you know fractions might be on the test there might be uh, multiplication for sixth graders seventh graders eighth graders division um, keep change flip some of those stuff might be on there as well as the night before your test okay here's what you're gonna do the night before your test the night before your test you're gonna go to bed at an agreeable time I don't want to hear no excuse okay I stayed up all night watching TikTok. Maybe that's not a good excuse. Come up with a better one. But no, I was up all night playing video games. I was up all night on my phone. I do not want to hear it. You are going to be in bed by 8 o'clock, 8.30 at the latest, 9 if you're pushing it. I don't want to hear no 9.30. Okay, no negotiating. Your bedtime 8.30, honey. So you're going to be in bed, sleeping. And depending on what time your test is, because a lot of times we'll take tests in the morning. However, ever, if your test is after lunch, have a good lunch, have a good breakfast. That is the key. Now, no sugary cereals, no pancakes, nothing doused in sugar. Make yourself a healthy breakfast. Here's fruits, vegetables. Trust me, I don't like vegetables, but make sure you eat them. Okay, because you will need them. They're going to help your brain. Um, you can have some quick little inspiration. can be two eggs on toast, avocado toast, just healthy foods. Um, and plus, just make sure that you are feeling your best. Don't take your test in your bed. At least if you don't have a setup desk, I have a setup desk, but if you don't have a setup desk, go to your dining room table. Now, if you're in a hectic house where there's a lot of noise, go to the quietest place possible, but make sure you're not in your bed. If you don't have a table, if you don't have a quiet area with a setup that you can, you can go into a quiet place. It doesn't matter if you are on the floor leaning on a wall, as long as you're quiet in a good environment. These are actual test taking strategies to use during the test. Now, first things first, you can read the question carefully, then reread the passage or the problem. So something that helps me personally is when you read the question first. So a lot of people will read the passage and then go to answer the question. I answer now, you know, in reading map, ELA map, you there's several questions and you already read the passage once but on the first question make sure read the question and then read the entire passage it doesn't matter if it says what happened in this point of the story read the entire passage with math problems read the question more than once because you yeah you really do want to understand what it's asking you um examine every answer choice before you choose your answer it happened to me in second grade um i read the question and then I chose the first option, but what I didn't know is that the second and third options were also correct, and the fourth option was all of the above. So make sure to read every single answer choice before you choose your answer. Now make sure to label your answer for math, um, because you want to have units. You have to put units. So what are we talking about? Are we talking about teddy bears? Are we talking about, you know, pencils? Are we talking about bottles of water what are we talking about make sure to label because they give you an extra point or two like you know you want to get your extra points so make sure you do it okay okay um and if you and if you're doing ela if you're in ela make sure to make sure to look for proof in the passage and underline it i know we're taking map online so you can press that little highlighter 
that little highlighter you highlight okay you highlight that's what it's there for and use it um always no matter what check your work and i know i'm not the best at this check your work in map when you're there because you can't go back in map you just keep on keeping on and you can't go back so make sure to check it and make sure everything's good before you press for the next questions and x out answers that you know are wrong because if it's talk if the passage is about fairies and it's talking about goblins baby you you need to switch it up okay guys that is all i have the tips the tricks the updates i'm pretty sure i crossed out everything i had on my list to say so i will see you guys next week make sure to go to class make sure to make yourself a coffee oh wait you don't have to um and do your assignments bye see you guys in the next one Hello from returning, hello from great ambassador with you today in the history of the disability award. On this day in 1609, Galileo demonstrates his first telescope. On in 1932, Amelia Earhart completes his her transcontinental nonstop flight. The first woman, the first by a woman, Megan Henry was the first female ever child to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. In 1958, on this day, Princess Woman Market was the first package of pre cooked instant noodle, aka Chicken Woman in 1985, Maid Dwight Goodwin became, becomes youngest pitcher to win 20 games. 20 years, so in 20 years, 9 months, and 9 days. That's today's day in the history. Hi, my name is Vivian Syker. I'm an 8th grade student ambassador. I will be doing Songs of the Week. Last Night by country singer Morgan Wallen is one of the longest running country songs on the Hot 100s in 2023. Morgan Wallen has spent 15 weeks at the top spots. Flowers by Miley Cyrus is one of the longest female written songs on the Hot 100s for 8th week. So, the VLA Ambassadors decided to recommend some songs for you to listen to. This week, Last Night by Morgan Wallen, Flowers by Miley Cyrus, Dance the Night Away, which I personally love, by Dua Lipa, Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles. It's already but a goodie. I know we've all listened to